Good morning, peeps. Good morning, peeps. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom Hotel. Power to my people that is scattered all over the four corners of this planet we call Earth. This your boy Asikah, man, bring you the east, left, right, even from this planet we call Earth. Hell, I might go to Cybertron to get some information. But just do me a favor like this video, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You'll be notified every time the boy drops any type of content. Let's get with it, baby. Let's get with it. Man, you know, everybody's trying to see what it do and trying to get equality right now. That's what it seems like. Well, last night down in uh, Washington, D.C., we had some obstacles. Like I said, like this video, share and subscribe, hit the notification bell. You'll be notified every time I drop content. Every time I drop content. So Secret Service tells press to leave the White House grounds in highly unusual mood. Wow. The Secret Service on Monday to, uh, evening told members of the White House press, quote, to immediately leave the White House grounds. They had to go. They said, God damn it, you got to go. The decision came during an ongoing demonstration in Lafayette Square, across the street from the White House, where protesters were trying to bring down the statue of former President Andrew Jackson that stands in the middle of the park. Protesters were eventually pushed back out of the park by the police. The Secret Service uh, issued a statement earlier Tuesday saying four of our members of media were misdirected to leave the White House grounds. Journalists, including C two CNN reporters, employees, were told they had to leave the White House grounds immediately, a south side of the complex, which is not the normal entrance or exit for the press. The move for the forced members of the media of the White House grounds is highly unusual, typical in certain security situations at the White House. The press corps is locked down in, inside the complex. A Secret Service post, so, uh, spokesperson uh, said in a statement to CNN on Monday evening in response to the increasingly violent demonstrations in Lafayette Park, four members of the media were misdirected by the Secret Service to leave the White House, rerouting up to its exits of the south side of the complex for their own safety. Protesters sprayed painted BHAZ on the pillars of St. John Episcopal Church, which sits across from Lafayette Square. The acronym stands for Black House Anonymous Zone, an apparent riff reference in the Capitol Hill Anonymous Zone in Seattle, where protesters have taken over six square block area of the city and kept out the police in order to set their own self-government space. Is that what it came down to? Is that what it came down to, ladies and gentlemen? I think it's what it came down to. But I got some audio from Don Lemon and his crew. We're going to let it play. Forward to leave the White House grounds tonight. At the same time, protesters were trying to topple a statue of former President Andrew Jackson in Lafayette Park, across the street from the White House. Let's bring in our White House correspondents, Caitlin Collins and Boris Sanchez. They're live for us on the scene. Good evening to both. Caitlin, reporters were told to leave the White House grounds earlier tonight. What happened? Yeah, Don, that's something that has not happened ever since I've been covering the White House, but reporters were told to leave the White House grounds earlier by Secret Service officers immediately at that time. Now, that typically doesn't happen when there is a protest, when there is some kind of security threat even, if someone's jumped over a barricade. Typically, they just have the reporters go into the briefing room, they'll lock the door until they figure out what's going on, and then everything goes on as normal. But tonight, they were asked to leave the White House, to clear up the White House, and that came, of course, as you saw those protesters inside Lafayette Square trying to put on that statue with those ropes. And now these protesters have been pushed past out of the park where they were earlier. And now they're right here on H and 16th Street, pushed out by park police. They've also got the Metropolitan, the D.C. police here as well, Don. Boris, I want to bring you in. You, you talked to a, a protester on the ground. What are people saying about this? Yeah, Don. So this all sort of culminated uh, right around 6.30. Y'all see the three people, so y'all can stand with the voice. Grab a fence that was part of a construction site that's adjacent to Lafayette Court, and they started moving it to the middle of the intersection, trying to block out police. I left the area, and when I came back a short time later, they had blocked out several more intersections. They were stopping not only police, but also uh, civilians, just people walking their dogs, neighbors that were out, 
Uh, I effectively try to argue that I should be allowed in inside. I'm pressed. I wanted to cover what was going on. They let me in, and I spoke to one of the organizers of what they're calling the Black House Autonomous Zone, clearly an attempt to recreate the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone that we're uh, seeing over the last several weeks in Seattle, where protesters there have blocked off police. I spoke to a, a young man who goes by D. He didn't want to give me his real name. He didn't want his picture taken. He told me that he's 28 years old, that he's from D.C., and that this uh, spontaneous move was not planned. This is something that protesters just started doing uh, spontaneously from one moment to the next. He told me that most of them don't actually know each other, and I want you to take a look at this. This is actually St. John's Episcopal Church. This is right across the street from the White House. You might recognize it. This is where President Trump held his photo op on June 1st after law enforcement officials cleared peaceful protesters from Lafayette Park using pepper balls. Uh, the night before that took place, protesters got into the church. They set fire to the basement. It appears it's been defaced again with that P-H-A-Z, the Black House Autonomous Zone, Don. Well, I hope y'all liked the video. Uh Share and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell. You'll be notified every time I drop any content. And let me know what y'all think about the video. And like I said, leave me some comments because, you know, people are not getting their word heard and about, out and about. You feel me? So, just hit your boy up. Leave some comments. Like and share. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Peace and bye. Have a great day.